Right, we're just going to do some more research here. Uh, in the Caterium tree, we can now unlock programmable splitters. So we'll start the research on that. That'll take eight minutes. We'll come back shortly and demonstrate how they work. All right, we're back here for the research on the uh, programmable splitter. It is now complete. Research is finished. So we will go and test it and a programmable splitter is in the logistics menu here and it requires a supercomputer and a heavy modular frame. Uh, I do have some spare supercomputers here because we, guess what? We made those earlier. Uh, I just need to get rid of that and that. And we'll get a heavy modular frame on the way. And I have a setup just like we tested with the programmable splitters. Uh, sorry, with the yeah, with the smart splitters, how you can use them to sort stuff. I'm going to show you how you can halve that with the uh, programmable. So here we go. Down here, we've got a setup ready to go. So the programmable splitters. The main difference is you can define multiple items on one path. And that's the key difference. Whereas previously with the smart splitters, you could only define one per uh, option here. So I'm gonna, I've got the exact same setup here, empty box to feed into, a box of concrete. Uh, this one had steel beams. I've got steel pipes in that one. I've got concrete in that one. And that's the final one. So we are gonna go to our logistics here and uh, where are we? And what did I use? I use Mark 3s everywhere. Yep. And we're saving our game. Alright, so logistics. We want our programmable spitter. And you can see it's I could compact this right down, but I wanted to do a direct one-to-one -one relationship. Whereas I had to use mergers before to make all this work. I don't have to do that this time. So in this one, concrete to the left. So I want to go uh, left output is, uh, here we are, concrete. So you have to plus add and then select it. And in the center, I'm going to put anything undefined and overflow. And that's it. So in the next one here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add anything undefined and overflow. To the left, I'm going to do steel pipe. So scroll down for this one, hey. Oh, you can also search, which makes things easier. There you go. So, standing on top of here, I'm going to put uh, some concrete in my box, and it's filling up that box. Now there's room for 25 more concrete in that box, and then bang, off it goes. And off it goes into the next one straight away. Then uh, let's put in some uh, plate. I'm going to put uh, 50 plate in. The plate should just go straight all the way through. Yep, simple as that. I might also put in some pipe. So there we go, the pipe's going through. Pipes filling up that box. Nothing's going through now. That, that box is full and it continues to go through. So this is how you can use, uh, you can set up quite a complex uh, spitter setup with these sorting system. Uh, it's just a, a, a more expensive cost to make them because you need heavy modular frames and you also need the uh, supercomputer and you need motors but they are very worthwhile 
and as you can see here I needed a merger in between each one to, to, to do the same process I did here with just two machines two uh, splitters